Charles Soludo pictured himself becoming a globally respected professor of economics. One of the very best things that happened to the Nigerian financial sector at the turn of the 21st century was the emergence of Professor Charles Soludo as the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. His appointment was seen by many at the time as one of the best decisions ever taken by Obasanjo's administration. It can only take the genius of Soludo's caliber to have caused more than 80 fragile banks to collapse into 25 strong mega banks with at least a capital base of 25 billion naira each within a year. This cerebral scholar was highly praised as a great reformer during his tenure. Soludo was not born into a privileged family. In fact, he lost his mother at the tender age of eight and his father was only a forklift driver with Niger Singh Company in, in Enugu at the time. He had all the brilliance to be in one of Nigeria's elite schools, but Oga Boys Secondary School was all the family could afford. At age 21, he wrote down his life ambition on a piece of paper, and it reads, I want to become professor on or before 35. But he made it at 38, not that bad. Soludo was a voracious reader right from his primary school days. Listen to what he says, and I quote, In fact, while I was in primary school, I don't remember going to bed any time earlier than 11 p.m. because I made it a point of duty that every note I copied must be recited on my way walking to the school the next day. And I felt like I had failed and was going to lose my first position to someone else if I did not. After his secondary school education, he proceeded to University of Nigeria and Soka UNA, where he graduated with first class honors in economics, winning the Vice Chancellor's Award. He also won the Best Undergraduate Student Award, the Best Master Student Award, and the Best Graduating PhD Student Award. He said that while he was being a judge, the best in UNN, that he never compared himself with what he saw around him. He compared himself with the global economy because he believed he had all he could take to play in the global league. After his first degree, Soludo only worked for five months in an accounting firm. While on the job, he looked at the great economists of the day who were shaping the Nigerian's economy and asked himself one fundamental question. Who would replace these people after they would have gone? He thought of nobody but himself. Soludo. With this prophetic insight, he resigned his lucrative job to join the ranks of university teachers who were poorly paid he was going back to university to realize his dream of becoming a professor. In 1990, at age 29, after his PhD, the then Minister of Budget and Planning, Dr. Shuo Kong, approached him with a fantastic offer to be his special assistant. Against the advice of people to take the job and travel letter, he rejected the offer and went to the Brookings Institute in the United States of America as a postdoctoral fellow. He explained that if he had taken the job, he would have become too comfortable working with the Honorable Minister and forget he still needed the tough path to the top. He also needed to get himself better as an economist that could stand on his own anywhere in the world. Did all of these things pay, you may ask? Big yes. From the Brookings Institute, international organizations like World Bank, International Monetary Fund, IMF, United Nations, and Asian Development Bank started demanding for its consulting services. Apart from being a visiting professor at top universities in UK and USA, he realized that as he was getting better in his field as an economist, the demand on his time was also growing. In 2002, when he was invited by President Obasanjo to join his government, he was already earning over $300,000 annually on consultancy loan. That's great. In 2004, he was privileged to address the World Economic Forum at Davos, Switzerland. What a dream come true. It always seems impossible until it is done, Nelson Mandela said. What lesson can we draw from this color? Lesson one. But this is not just only one lesson, it's, it's enough. To prepare yourself, you must delay or defer immediate gratification. One of the qualities of great people is that they are future oriented. They daily take decisions that lead them step by step to their big dreams. For Soludo, the big picture was to become a world-class economist and a professor in his field. He rejected several jobs that would have given him huge income at the time. Though he needed the money, he continued developing himself in order to play in the global league. 
Your first career goal must be to become a leading expert, the most valuable player MVP in your chosen field. Money, you should remember, is what you attract as a result of the person you have become to learn and train. Let me ask you, in the next 10 to 20 years, what will be your own story? This is Toshio Carver, your storyteller, and I look forward to telling your own story. Thanks and bye.